Microsoft want you to vibe work. Yeah, uh, that was the phrase I think Satya Nadella said when he was talking about some of these new co-pilot features within Excel. Uh, but I've come across a video that I just wanted to pass comment on and, and show you, I think Microsoft's vision for the future of work and that how we will talk to Copilot and even more so leave the document creation to Copilot. It's kind of like the, the next step to um, how we currently create a PowerPoint, right? So we're here in, uh, let's just uh, make this a bit bigger here, the, the, the doc, rather the video is called Office Agent uh, Chat First Document Creation. Uh, and it was, I believe, used to uh, during the, the launch or the discussion around Microsoft 365 Premium uh, and also the new Microsoft logos for Microsoft 365. Anyway, I'm going to go through this and I'll pass some comments as we go and uh, see what you think. So we're starting off in a chat box and I think clearly or already it is an animation, it's not a real recording, um, general kind of uh, look and feel of what's going on and up at the top right hand corner, I'll just narrow this down a bit here, we've got our um, Frontier label, right, so that usually up there shows us what version of um, uh, the software we're using. You know, you could be in preview, you could be in private preview, it could be uh, generally available. Okay, so we're at chat box. Copilot, create a presentation summarizing the top five global trends shaping the future of work. Okay, so that is our prompt. Um, she's not voice to text in it, but um, it is generally there about um, a presentation about global trends um, so vibing and I think if you've already listened to that music and you hear it throughout the video it feels very vibey um, yeah okay so we had that prompt uh, it blatted through and uh, now we've got some clarifying questions uh, task clarification so here's that concept that we're giving Copilot a task. Let's see if I can pause this in the right spot the again. Top five global trends shaping the future of work. Okay, so starting to say, I'll create a comprehensive presentation for you. Um, first, let me create a task tracking file to organize our workflow. Now that blasted through so quickly, but a task tracking file to organize our workflow, creating todo.md. So behind the scenes, it's adding something to a file, potentially code, potentially we could change some things in that file. I and mean, we can see like a little edit or pencil mark there. We could go in and, and change it if we know what language it's talking. So it goes through. Here's our opportunity to try and narrow down some of those things in the task presentation focus, what do we want the presentation to focus on? Um, and these are radio buttons. So you'd expect that you'd only be able to make one choice, <laughs> but down here we can make two choices for the data visualization. I want to see charts for all the key statistics you can find and balance of charts and text. I think that means good, a good balance of charts and text. Some good clarifying. Okay, and Questions then we've got our how long do we want our presentation to be? Uh, a good question to ask, of course, because we don't want them to be too long. Um, and following that, what theme do we want to start this thing off with? Uh, remember, this is still going to be just a starting point. I expect we'll be able to still go in and change this presentation. So we create it. Oh, now let's, again, it's another one of those. It's blasting past the screen. Let's see if we can pause it in the right spot to see some of this additional information. And go. Yes, okay. So I want us to take a look at this top right-hand corner. Here's some of those tasks that are happening. Uh, we've got review the batch content. Great, first batch of slides. Looking good. Creating the next batch of slides. So five to eight, nine to 11, and then whatever the final batch is. But it's breaking things down into, I'm gonna create these slides, then these slides, then these slides. Um, interesting, okay. At least it's, it's showing progress and it's a whole lot better than that crazy little 
uh, ant wheel that goes around and we're like, okay, you're doing something, you're thinking about it, okay, very good. Um, but yeah, this makes a lot more sense. Uh, now I look at this second time through that we saw it say at the beginning, it's writing these tasks to a file and now it's rewriting them to say that the tasks have been complete. So you've got your presentation file, I guess over here. And then over on the right hand side, we've got somewhere that we can start to preview what this looks like. Now this is already something uh, that is, uh, I guess, in more detail than uh, when we do this within PowerPoint, where we say, make me some slides, uh, it creates a, an overview, we can drag things around a little bit, we go, yep, go to the next phase, and it starts to t work through our talking points, and then eventually creates the slide deck for us. But we're already seeing slides here, and they're mostly complete. Just take a quick look too at um, what is on this area where we can work and preview the slide. We've got an area to preview the slide and potentially here code. We could go in behind the scenes and then adjust the code. Maybe, I don't know. Um, we've got uh, the ability to expand the slide and look at it fully on screen. Um, here's our graphics. And Template looks let's see if we can keep nice. pausing here. All oh, right, so I just wanted to pause on this bit here too. They are working slides. Uh, we can hover over a bar within a graphic and you can see the, the value in how marketing's going for Frontier Firm, 73%. So, yeah, okay. I like how I can see all Let's go back out a bit. Bigger all picture. Is taking so she's giving some brief instructions here about how to change this slide, slide 11, or is it slide 6? Um, so remove the image on slide six and turn the buttons into oh, a slide. visual. We can see it thinking about that. The office agent is executing. Everything's an agent now. <laughs> it's together. It okay, whoa, okay. I wonder if I can pause that somewhere That's along nice. the way and see what like blasted see past us as part oh, of, together. okay. Here we go. I'll modify slide six. So it is reading the file, HTML. Um, now I'll modify the slide, I'm changing the image and transforming the bullet points uh, for the visual representation, uh, reviewing the slide, does it meet the quality standards, perfect, well then it does, doesn't it, okay. Uh, and I've successfully updated the slides, here's a review, what has changed, removed the image, created a card based visual layout for four cards arranged horizontally across the slide. Yes, yes they are. Uh, added visual elements to each card, distinctive icons, clear titles, concise descriptions. Uh, so if we zoom on into that part of it, um, yeah, I guess so. Four, four cards, clear titles, icons that sort of match what the titles are, and we've got a bit of text underneath it. So this, this is vibe working, vibe working. I mean, maybe we'll get the music playing in the background as we do it. Ooh. Um, okay, we'll go back a bit here. What else have we got? There. Looks great. And so it's easy, we've got the option now to download the PowerPoint and use it. We've also got a button here to be able to present it. So maybe we could hit present, it's going to load up from wherever it's saved in maybe a OneDrive or, or somewhere, more likely a OneDrive, but downloading is one option. Now we're into typical PowerPoint or desktop PowerPoint app, it seems. Don't know if it's online or not, but <laughs> um, the last bit here, we are working with traditional tools here and now we're, we're taking what we've been given and starting to spruce things up. Um, we'll put our own words in there, of course, but it's, it's kind of funny um, that here Detailed edits. we're already using Copilot again to rewrite what Copilot wrote. Make it into a list. Done. All right. So that, that is vibe working to create a Office document with what seems to be the Office agent. And it's interesting that it's been talked about here uh, within the Microsoft 365 Premium launch. Is that a launch? I don't know. Um, but it, it is definitely an opportunity they used to 
talk about the new Office icons. Oops, Microsoft 365 icons. Oops, Microsoft 365 Copilot icons. Um, but yeah, it's, it's premium. Uh, when I saw these icons come out, I was like, hang on, uh, where, where is the, um, the loop icon? You know, uh, that's missing. But now that you look at it being Microsoft 365 Premium, that is the consumer version of our Office desktop products, still call them Office sometimes, um, that loop is not part of that, but definitely uh, Clipchamp, Designer, of course, Word, Excel, PowerPoint. I think somewhere there was Defender in there as part of that too, I, I don't know. But um, that is, uh, that is, oh, there it is. There's the vision there for Microsoft 365 Premium and also the vision for Vibe Working. Um, what did you think? Uh, is this how you're going to be creating documents in the future? I encourage you to, again, still see this generative AI way of working uh, as a starting point so that you can put yourself into it. Now, if it's going to save you some time doing work and it gets you closer to the end result, then maybe the end result, you could shift those goalposts and actually do a whole lot more to that document and get it closer to a, a, a vision you have for the, the document you're trying to create. Um, differentiate it, right? Don't just leave it at that point and go, great job done, I'm fine with that, because then everything's gonna look that way. Um, but put a whole lot more into it, use what you've been given as a starting point, spruce it up, put some of your own words and expressions into it. Anyway, that's what I've got. Just thought I'd pass comment on that. Thought it was interesting. Um, let me know what you think about vibe working and, uh, and getting help from uh, AI in this way. And what do you think of this uh, vision for the office agent? Everything's an agent. We need an agent's help to get our work done. Anyway, we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.